Hi, this is Ruth Brown. I'm here on the Nokia stand at Network X in Amsterdam. I'm here with Paul de Boer, and we are today going to be talking about network services. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be with you today. Thanks for having um, me. Thank you. So we're seeing in the industry there's a lot of changes happening in the last two years with um, operators trying to upgrade their network. We're seeing um, new investment in networks and um, builders trying to put in broadband. How do you see these challenges um, to both the network builders and also the operators in terms of putting this new infrastructure in? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So if you look around here, I mean, it's an unprecedented growth in, in fiber deployments. Um, and with fiber deployments, uh, actually the reality is that it's not only the, the digging and the trenching, etc., that, uh, that, that needs to happen, and that's happening a lot more, but also the shift into more of the cloudification, the software, the system integration that's on top of this. And this means that uh, operators are really challenged because um, uh, the, the, the workforce requirements are changing, the, the people requirements are changing, the, the skill sets requirements are changing, and there's a, as we all know, there's also a shortage of these kind of skill sets. So these are some of the very big challenges that the operators are having. They need to retool their uh, workforce going forward, if you will. Yeah. And so how do you think operators can actually overcome some of these challenges that you're seeing? Yeah, so I think the mindset needs to be around automation. So really automating the processes that they uh, have to do around these, these new networks. Um, and and uh, with that, that means that new hiring of people, etc. But we also know the reality is, uh, certainly for the smaller operators, etc., that they probably need to lean on other companies to, uh, to help them with this. And this is also what we're looking at at Nokia. So how can we help these operators uh, with these challenges that they're having, with the automation, with the workforce kind of requirements that, uh, that they're having? Mm -hmm. Um, we're also hearing a lot about skills gap, expertise gap. What is Nokia doing to help in this space? Yeah, so we have um, trained and hired a lot of people around the world that can help with these kind of processes for operators. So that's the, 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 the human part of it, and then based yeah. on this automation of uh, processes. But the other part of it is that we see an opportunity and, and a growth and a need for different business models, like uh, as a service. So uh, typically software as a service says that we talk about a lot today is one of the ways for operators to uh, solve this problem. So lean more on companies like Nokia um, to help them with, with these challenges, if you will. Mm -hmm. So we've talked a little bit, you've just mentioned uh, the network software as a service. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you think this is going to bridge the uh, workforce gap and also the skills gap? Yeah, so I, I think uh, it starts from the processes that you have to do as an operator, right? So either in the design of the network, the, in, the implementation, the integration, the operation of a network, uh, the processes uh, you like to standardize as much as possible. Um, and with that it comes the opportunity to, uh, with standardization comes the opportunity for automation. And if you automate it, you can work from blueprints, etc. So the blueprints that we have built around SaaS models are really to help operators quickly get onto implementing some of these capabilities in their networks. So rather than reinventing the wheel themselves, pretty much working from blueprint models that they can easily adapt in, into their operations and in that way go to market also much faster. So it helps them from a, a skill sets perspective, mm -hmm. as, you, as you mentioned, but it also helps from a time to market perspective. It also helps from a TCO perspective because the total cost of ownership, what we see around all of this is typically around 25% lower than in a traditional way of operating. Mm -hmm. So what's next for Nokia then in the evolution and how is this going to support the workforce moving forward? Yeah, so um, with this cloudification of networks, uh, the upgrades of networks, bringing new features and capabilities to, to the end user, if you will, also comes the requirement to more frequent upgrade and, and software releases of the, of the networks. So what we call continuous integration, continuous delivery is becoming a reality in the industry. And so from that perspective, I think that's a, that's a big trend that's going to happen. And for that, you also need this automation and, and all the capabilities that we talked about. Um, also with that is that we all know that when we bring new solutions to the market, a lot of testing needs to happen either on the vendor side, like a Nokia, but also on the customer side to integrate all of this in the networks. And so uh, I think network uh, uh, testing automation is is one of the key uh, mm -hmm. developments going forward. And we see in the current developments we're doing with customers, we see some tremendous uh, progress in that space, including tremendous savings that they can generate vis-a-vis uh, -vis the more traditional way of doing things. So I, I think that's one of the next areas that, uh, that we're going to see a lot of going forward. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for uh, speaking to me today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of NetworkX. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.